Wait, I've got bottle rockets, cherry bombs, and this big one. I don't even know what it does. Oh. Oh my goodness. All right, welcome back to another School Principal Reacts. My name is Brandon, and I'm a high school principal from the U.S. state of Georgia doing another episode of Gumball, the first video that I put out, The Grades. Uh, check it out if you haven't yet seen it. This one is called The Fraud, and once again, this one came almost directly from you guys' recommendations. You all have been asking for this episode, so I am going to go ahead and take a look at it today. Just a reminder to subscribe to the channel if you aren't subscribed so you won't miss any of my videos. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Love the intro. All right, the fraud. Can you please explain why your clothes are painted on? Well, you see, Principal Brown, the thing is... <laughs> okay, Nicole said I need to use a quarter cup of washing liquid and a half cup of... No. Sugar. All right. So right off the bat, this is getting pretty silly. So the students were in Mr. Brown's office, the principal, and he was asking him why uh, their clothes are painted on. And I guess this is the dad here putting their clothes into the dishwashing machine. Um, that's not going to go too well, but let's see. And set it for exactly one hour and two minutes. Wait okay, wow. And go! Did you just put the clothes in the dishwasher? Mm -hmm. So what did you do with the dishes? Oh, no. Let's just say we like to dress sharp, but not that sharp. Mm. Not no one notice. Sure, the clothes are fake, but they're just as good as the real ones. Let me make this clear for you. If you wear fake clothes, you're naked which is bad. If you pay with fake money, you're a crook, which is mm. bad. If you eat fake meat, you're a vegetarian, which I guess is not that bad, just a bit boring. I mean, it's good for the animals, I guess, but you always <laughs> have a smug. All right, so he goes through this list of wearing uh, fake clothes and all these different fake things, and he mentions having to add something to this rule book, which is already pretty massive. Now, in reality, the school handbook, which I've talked about many times before, that's basically the school's rule book. And I've never seen one that thick. Uh, it's typically much thinner than that. But it does sometimes get lengthy because think about it, it has to cover almost every single thing that happens, which is still impossible. But it is not quite that thick, you know, maybe half an inch or something like that. Uh, but this thing is like massive. What if you have a fake diploma? Well, then you're up. <coughs> mm. A principal? Principal Brown? Oh, uh, what gave it away? I don't know. Maybe the fact you painted it directly onto the wall? Or probably because you <laughs> used a banana sticker as a seal of authenticity. Okay, so I'm guessing this is where the name of the episode comes from, The Fraud. So he just went on this tirade about how horrible it was to have fake things, and now it seems like he has a fake diploma. I hope not. I hope he's got a real one somewhere. And this is just one that it looks like they're saying he painted it directly on the wall. I've never seen that ever. Now, have there ever been people with fraudulent diplomas? Yes. I have heard of uh, situations where, okay, someone had a degree that there was something not quite right about it, or it was from a non-accredited institution or something, but that's crazy crazy rare. Certainly no one would be able to not only teach, but be a principal without the proper diploma or credentials. But let's see where this is going here. Wait, so do you have a diploma or not? <laughs> Kids, I am a principal and you need a diploma to be a principal. True. Is that a yes or a no? It is. Oh my gosh, you're a fraud! All right, you got me. But I have one more trick up my sleeve. Mm. Please, please, don't, don't. <laughs> I was going to say, if he's admitting that he doesn't have a diploma and he's the school principal, that's a problem. That's a huge problem. And I'm like, how could he possibly have been hired in that position? Not to mention the fact that normally you're a teacher first. And as a teacher, you have to have a diploma in various certifications depending on where the school is located and he's like i have one more trick up my sleeve and i'm thinking what what could you possibly say at that point but then he just breaks down crying i'm like well yeah that makes sense anyone please uh, 
Have pity on me, Don't please. worry, Principal Brown. We wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. Hmm. Oh, I see. It's gonna be like that, is it? Blackmail? Yeah, it's gonna be like that. Oh, I get it. Uh, do you? Cause it doesn't seem like you do. I got the message. Right. I'm still not sure you understand. <laughs> yeah, I mean yeah, so I guess Mr. Brown thinks that they're gonna blackmail him somehow, and they're just like it doesn't seem like that was even part of their thought process. Um, I'm a little confused myself at this point, but let's see where this is going here. Me neither, but that seemed like it was going to go on forever. Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay, so what do you want? Just name it. Anything, anything. Uh, do you want me to bump your crates? I can do that. I can bump your crates. I can do that. Uh, no thanks. We'd be forced to maintain that kind of standard forever. I think it's... Okay, now this, <laughs> this is getting more and more worrisome. So... It seems like the principal of the school does not, in fact, have a degree. That's a huge problem. And then, I don't know if you caught it, he said it so fast. He says something about bumping up your grades. That's a problem, too. And by the way, he can't bump up your grades either. Kind of depends on where you live. Here in the state of Georgia, it is actually in the state law. No principal or school administrator can force a teacher to change the grades you just can't now you can change the grade yourself if you had a teacher that was clearly going contrary to the school grading policy you could do that technically now it's extremely rare i don't know that i've seen that very often at all where a principal actually changes a student's grade it's got to be really extreme for that to happen um, but they cannot, under any circumstances, force the teacher to change a grade. Only the teacher can do that. Especially if we stay in our comfort zone. Just above fail. Uh, what about Just signals? above fail. And I'm sorry to stop it again, but there are a lot of students who do that, actually. Particularly middle or high school students. I think they're supposed to be in middle school. But he says they didn't want him to bump up their grade because they didn't want to have to keep up that standard, they said. And she says they're comfortable with being just above fail. That's their comfort zone. And yeah, there are students that do that. They'll stay right above a 70, which is considered passing. Anything below a 70 is failing. And they'll get just below a 70. And all of a sudden, they'll do some work and they'll get above a 70. And then they'll drift below a 70 again. And they'll just go back and forth that way. Uh Thanks, but I don't think I'd feel good about everyone believing I've got mange. I've got just what you need. Behold, What's this? A chest of confiscated treasures. A chest of confiscated treasures. Fireworks are illegal, even in Russia. Seems like a lot of this stuff should require... <laughs> okay, now, this is something that there's actually some truth to it. So, as a school administrator, assistant principal, principal, you do sometimes have to confiscate things. If you look at almost any school handbook, it's going to say a list of stuff that you really can't have. I won't go into all the different things, but you can go to your school handbook and see exactly, you know, a bunch of stuff listed out there that you're not supposed to have at school. And the principal will confiscate those things. And typically, most people I have known do have a place that they put all that stuff. Now, if it's something that really is illegal, they're going to immediately hand it over to the police, such as if a student has drugs at school. They're just going to get the police to come out and pick that stuff up. They can't keep anything like that for obvious reasons. But anything else, things that aren't uh, illegal but are against the school policy, they may have that tucked away for a period of time. Now, most people I've known will keep that for a period of time and then just throw it all in the trash if it builds up. Um, they'll just throw it away, simple as that. But yeah, there usually is some sort of assortment here. I saw that if you have seen Captain Underpants, he also had a little file cabinet drawer that he had some items in that had been confiscated over time. But you wouldn't keep that stuff indefinitely. You would just throw it out. Air license. Who buys stuff like this? People with fingers to spare. But as you can see, I don't. Mm. Thanks, but no thanks. No, 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 wait. I've got bottle rockets, cherry bombs, and this big one. I don't even know what it does. Oh. Oh my goodness. 
Yeah, so uh, he would be fired for that, 100% shooting fireworks off in the school and then halfway destroying his office and setting it on fire. Yeah, he's gone. Not to mention not having the proper credentials to be a school principal. That's a problem on its own. And then uh, offering to inflate the students' grades. I should do a potential firings count for this guy. Maybe I should start one. I just didn't expect uh, this episode to go in this direction. All right. So not having the proper degree that he's supposed to have, uh, he can be fired just for that alone. Offering to inflate the student's grade in exchange for silence on this issue. That's a potential firing. Also, he offered to give them confiscated items in exchange for their silence about his fake diploma. That's a firing. Setting the fireworks off in the school building, uh, that on its own is a firing and causing his office to be set on fire by itself. That's another firing. So we're up to like five potential firings for Mr. Brown here. Um, I had a pretty high opinion of him from last time, but based on this episode, I'm not so sure anymore. Can't be bought. They're bound to denounce me. I need to find another angle. Uh-oh. Dude, check this out. That's right, baby. It would have been more impressive if you... And it doesn't seem like they even care that much. They're just like, oh, okay, you have a fake diploma. They're not running out to tell people. They're just kind of living their best life here, having fun at lunch. So hopefully Mr. Brown doesn't do anything too bad. He succeeded the first time. <laughs> doesn't look good. What the what? Piercings. YOLO. Hashtag. MP3. Tweets. What is he doing? Selfies. Skinny jeans. L O. <laughs> I'm sorry, Principal Brown, but you look like such a jerk that even a granola crunching pacifist like me had to do something about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does look pretty ridiculous here with the shirt and he's just saying, I don't know what he's doing. He's just saying kind of random things. And the guy hits him with a lunch tray, which, I mean, he, he would be suspended, uh, maybe never to come back for hitting the principal in the face and knocking him on the floor. Yeah, that would be a problem. But I don't know what he's trying to do here. I don't feel great about it, whatever it is. But let's see. What are you doing, Principal Good Brown? question. Well, I thought if I was cool and became your friend, you wouldn't tell anyone. No. Well, it's a bit weird, but yeah, I guess we could be friends if it makes you feel better. That is so refrigerated. You guys are riddled with disease. We should very much be suspended in an exterior environment. Did you mean to tell us that that's cool? We're sick and we should totally hang out together. For sure. I don't like this at all. So I started to get a little nervous when he said he would take a different angle or whatever he said rather than trying to bribe him. I was afraid he was going to try and, and hurt Gumball somehow. But uh, no, now he's trying to be their friend. And the way that he's trying to be their friend, <laughs> he's just walking around saying things that he thinks are cool and trying to be cool with the sunglasses and the hat. And he's the principal of the whole school. This is beyond ridiculous and by the way that's another firing there if he behaved in this way yeah he probably wouldn't last too long so that's what six i think we're up to yeah hopefully he doesn't get himself in any more trouble on this episode i can see why you guys recommended this one though <clears throat> is he camping with him Oh, come now, just because you're students and I'm your principal, it doesn't mean we can't share a few. And I finally heard myself out loud. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so where to start with this? Potential firing number seven, I think we're at, is he goes to their house and is camping out in their room with them. And number eight, I think he said something about things are going well with Miss Simeon, who is a teacher at the school. That's totally inappropriate. So that's like number eight, potential firing. I don't know where he goes from here. He said, oh, I finally heard myself out loud, realizing how inappropriate that would be, and quickly gets out of there. So Hopefully he stops here. And again, all he wants is for them to not say anything about him having a fake diploma, which I don't understand that in the first place. But they don't even really seem that interested in telling anybody. He should probably just stop while he's ahead. Find it in a dumpster. Please don't tell. Uh, he attached twenty dollars to the Oh, bribery. How cheap does he think we are? Okay. 
No, you can't even remember what he doesn't want us to talk about. <laughs> money isn't enough to stop you from bleeding. I don't have a diploma. I've got a little dirt of my own. What if this were to go public? <sighs> Look, Principal Brown. First, that was a phase. And secondly, we felt ashamed so many times in life that I think we're now incapable. <laughs> All right. And by the way, another potential firing at trying to bribe them with money in order to keep a secret. That's get definitely getting him fired. Trying to blackmail them with a photo of them wearing this stuff here. You can't do that either. That's another. I think we're up to 10 at this point, but that would be another firing. I'm not doing real well here, Mr. Brown. You should probably just stop. They don't. I think they said a minute ago they can't even remember what it is they're not supposed to tell. He should just stop, but I can see here that he's not going to. The doctor says we've run out of shameosterone. Let me show you. As you can see, Shame the brain is composed of many sections dedicated to emotion. Here is anger. Here is sadness. This here? We just don't know. And finally, this is the shame gland. The shame see, gland. It's pretty dried out. And um, I'm not a doctor. This is not a medical channel, but I don't think that's how it works. I've never heard of a shame gland. Not sure that that's actually how it works here. Dude, could you put me back together, please? Filler. Ugh. How's that? I think there's a whole lot of people who are doing it. Ah, thanks. That's much better. Cumberland Darwin Watson, please report to the principal's office. Ugh, what does he want now? Kids, I think I'm losing my mind. <sighs> Finally! Well, at least you realize it's a problem. I looked everywhere. I looked in the drawer. I looked under my desk, behind the bookshelf. Wait, what are we talking about here? My glasses. I can't find my glasses. Uh, you're wearing them. face. <sighs> okay, you really want to do something for us? Anything. Then you'll leave us alone? Of course. Yeah. And just take care of the school. Yes, he says, of mm -hmm. course. That's it. Take care of the school. And all my problems will be solved. Thank you, Watson. All I have to do is blow this place up. We Hope not. Crazy alarm. Are you crazy? No one can know about this. There'll be complete panic. We just have to stop him before he blows up the school. Who's gonna blow up the school? <laughs> no, no. We were just saying how the wind blows up the guy ever seven. Oh yeah. Help me out here. <laughs> Okay. All right. I just have to stop. It's getting way too ridiculous. So I hope that he didn't mean that. And you heard this uh, flower character hear them say something about, oh, what? Blow up the school? What? You really can't play around with a language like that. Even if you're totally kidding, you really cannot say you know anything even remotely close to that because I will be taken seriously. You just can't make up those types of statements. But let's see what happens here. Never mind, let's go. Roger, can I have the keys to the boiler room? I'm gonna blow up the school. Uh, sure. Uh, you'd better run. All right, it's the little blue one. Sometimes it's a custodian. So need to give it a principal Brown's gonna blow up the school. No, 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 no. Somebody met. It's it's not you. <laughs> and I'm also like, how like all Mr. Brown wants is for them to not say anything about his fake diploma. Like, how is this gonna help him? It it doesn't really make any sense here. Wait a minute, are you trying to knock me on? If there's no school, then there's nothing to lose. That scared me, Principal Brown. I... Take the children outside, coach. I'm going to blow up the school. That's the coach. Uh, wait, blow up what? Just ain't no violence. I'll take care of her. I'm sorry, coach. What's he doing? What's that? I'm trying to pinch a nerve cluster, but it's buried pretty deep. Now let me try something. <laughs> Apparently it works on cows. <laughs> It worked. Blow this place up. Principal Brown is going to blow up the school. Mr. Small, we can explain. Hold on, kids. I need to make a symbolic gesture of protest. Halt in the name of law. It didn't work. Yeah, and this is so crazy. It's it's basically impossible. But uh, you would have the police there instantly. Most schools nowadays have a school resource officer. They would pretty much immediately take Mr. Brown out of there. None of this would be allowed to happen, but it is gumball. And he says here, I'm going to make a symbolic gesture of protest. Yeah, that didn't seem to stop him. Oh, my reputation will be safe. Save yourself, Lucy. Oh, oh sorry. I thought that was another drywall. <laughs> I'll dig in. 
Everyone, evacuate the school. Okay, wow. Wow. Needless to say, uh, saying he's going to blow up the school is another firing. Pulling the fire alarm like that, that's another firing. I think we're up to like 12 at this point, but let's see what he does here. To do is increase the oxygen supply, shut off the carbon dioxide release valve, which should, combined with avoiding H2O, kickstart the reaction, which will blow up the whole school. Stop! Don't do that! Save yourself! You misunderstood us. We don't want you to blow up the school. But it's the only solution. I don't know How? What is going on? Wait, it should have blown by now. Oh, yeah, it's because of chemistry that I failed my diploma. <laughs> Tell them the truth, Prince Mulberry. So he thinks he's going to use this boiler to blow up the school and he said he failed chemistry and that's why he doesn't have his diploma so that's why his plan doesn't work all right now i guess there's a certain logic to that i don't have a diploma your principal is nothing more than a, a fraud mm. i should go but promise me you'll find a new principal to look after this place. But you are a principal, or at least you were until you started worrying about that stupid diploma. Haven't you been doing this job for 20 years? 20 Surely years. No one else is more qualified to be our principal than our principal. And this is just crazy beyond crazy, but all right. Uh, so he doesn't have a diploma and he's been the principal there for 20 years? And no one noticed that. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. And honestly, if you become a principal or hired somewhere as principal, they're going to go pretty deeply through your credentials even before they even talk to you. They're going to look at not just a resume, but your college education, your degrees, your various certifications you have, along with your experience. Um, it's different every place what exactly is required, but it's going to be similar. You're going to need a an education degree along with a degree in some sort of educational leadership program along with teaching experience. It just goes on and on. So the idea that this guy has no experience other than being principal of this school for 20 years, no other experiences and no degree, and he's allowed to be principal is kind of crazy, but Gumball's a crazy show. You know what? You're right. I'm going to get this place back on track, starting right here, right now. Oh, that's another firing there. Sorry, it was mathematics that I failed. Uh, all right, well, that's it. That was really crazy. For most of that episode, I'm like, where's this going? How's this going to end? And it ends with Mr. Brown telling everybody, okay, he doesn't have a diploma, but they want him still as principal which I kind of understand that if they like him, the students wanting him to be principal, they don't really care about that stuff probably. But typically a principal is going to be hired by the local board of education who is going to care very, very much about those things. And the only thing I can figure technically, if this is a private school, they may be able to technically waive some of that stuff. They don't have to play by the same rules as public schools do a lot of times when it comes to the qualifications of their staff. But no, a principal without a diploma. And I don't know if they were talking about high school, college or graduate school or what they were referring to there. But yeah, that's just totally nonsensical. But Gumball is a pretty nonsensical show. It was kind of funny. A lot of this content, uh, I'll reiterate toward the end there. He kept saying something about blowing stuff up. You really can't go there the way school safety is now. You just can't. But uh, that was pretty funny. Thank you all for your recommendations on that. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed to the channel yet. And I'll see you next time on School Principal Reacts. Thanks for watching.